I have done quite a few optic slash scope reviews. And for the most part, I was like most of you. My thought process was the bigger, the better, the more features, the better. Now I have since changed my mind on that. You know, when it comes to the FOV or the field of view, when I'm looking at the reticle and I'm looking through the optic, a lot of those that have a multitude of features, they get really busy. And I really don't care for that really busy reticle. I find it distracting. So what I want is KISS. Keep it simple, stupid. Now, what if I could have my cake and eat it too? What if I could have all those options and yet the reticle wasn't busy and I could go KISS if I wanted to with just you know basically the BDC and crystal clear glass and then tough as nails on top of that? Now that is exactly why the GLX two and a half to 10 FFP Raptor here, the M2, that's exactly what it has. Let's check it out and see. I'm Drew Case, welcome back to Beyond Seclusion, where I only give you my honest opinion, and it is what it is. Now, I specifically sought out this Primary Arms Optic because I was doing a review of the Rock River Arms here, the LAR 15M R3. You know, it, it's supposed to be a tack driver, and I wanted a really nice piece of glass optic on it. I wanted to be able to show the accuracy that this rifle was capable of, and I also wanted to quickly and easily just bang on steel from 100 out to 500. Now, the BDC in this actually allows me to do that out to 800. Unfortunately, I don't have 800 on my range. My range maxes out at five. So let's just take a quick look at the specs in tech, and then I'm gonna show you up close. We'll go through the reticle, and I'll show you all of the options that it does have. Now, real quick here, I wanna point out two things very specifically that I absolutely love on this optic. The one is the Auto Live, or essentially, most of you are know, know it as Shake Awake or you know Motion Activated. That has always been my biggest gripe with illuminated reticles. If I forget to turn them off, it's dead, okay? Not this one. They, they finally, somebody finally got it right. In three minutes, it automatically shuts off with no motion and you literally just tap it and it's back on. So no more dead batteries. We're gonna test that. I love this feature. We're gonna test it. I'm not moving this for three minutes and we'll see if it goes off and then I'll touch it and see if it comes back on. Okay, so it's been three minutes, hard to hold this still. I'm gonna try moving the gun, and boom. All I did was tap it, and the illumination is right back on. That feature is awesome. That means Now the other one is these auto lock or return to zero turrets. Now, that part, as far as getting it and fully utilizing its capabilities, for me, it doesn't fall under KISS, but it's not too hard. Um, Country Mash did an outstanding video on how to do that. And rather than reinvent the wheel, I've got his link below there. You can just click on that. And it's gonna show you anything and everything you want to know about how to set the turrets when you get it zeroed. If you don't wanna mess with that, you just simply zero it like always and just leave it alone. Walk away. It's as KISS as you want. Or you can take these off and you can then do the auto reset to zero and zero your turrets out. It's up to you, links below. The thing I like on this is it has the adjustable parallax knob on the side. 
Some people refer to this as a focus. Um, it's not the focus, okay? The so it's not the focus. The diopter or the focus ring is up here. It's under our lens protector, okay? It doesn't come with these on and you just adjust that for your vision and then you put on your cap. Now I know I said I like KISS and I do, but I'm gonna go and show you looking through the reticle all the different things that you have because you're gonna find those in the instructions. They do a fantastic job. You're not gonna have any issues whatsoever figuring them out. The thing is, is I can either use them, you know, the auto leading, um, the range finder, all that. I can just simply ignore it all, zero it, and use the BDC with the illuminated Chevron all the way out to 800 yards. It's not rocket science. You look at it, it's pretty self-explanatory. Now I did use primary arms, one piece uh, CM30 mount. I really like this for the coin and the quality that you get. You're gonna have a really hard time beating this. Okay guys, enough talking. Check out what I was able to do with the GLX on this Rock River Arms R3. It was impressive. I'm just breaking in the RS here. I got, uh, I seasoned the barrel the other day without even an optic on it. Primary Arms sent me the GLX, okay? The reason I want this is that particular BDC because I like it KISS and I want to reach out there. Anyway, I got this mounted and started zeroing it at 100, and I'm not kidding, right out of the box, putting it on the six inch target down there was right at three o'clock on it i made a couple adjustments and and i'll show you i was pretty much almost on the bullseye i'm using special thanks also to hornady sending me some of this 62 grain full metal jacket black i'm using this for another review and i'm finding this stuff to have incredible accuracy I, way exceeding my expectations anyway Let's look through here and I'll show you what you can see. Uh, okay, I just checked um, the groupings and other than my own flinch, put them all in a quarter at 100. Uh, I'm gonna have some fun at, at 300 and 400, but I just wanna, I'm just gonna jump right up to 500, use this BDC and see if we can hit that. <laughs> All right, well, that says a lot for all three, I that was fantastic. Five shots uh, after, I don't know, maybe running through seven shots to get it zeroed. Now we're gonna have some fun with it. I actually have some guests out today. Um, we're just gonna all take turns and we're gonna bang on that steel and that's gonna be the proof in the pudding. And I, I, I we'll see. There you got it. Got it? Yep. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Fun. So what's 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 your take on that? That's pretty awesome. You like you like the scoop? You the like glass the BDC? Is great. The glass has awesome clarity and it just works. It's KISS. It is. Yeah. Nice. Folks, if you're enjoying this review, do you follow my channel? Would you be willing to help support the channel if it costs you nothing, not a zip, zero? Hit that subscribe button. That does as much as anything, so hit that button. I just got a new webpage, Home of the Crazy Stupid Deals. You have to check it out. You will be shocked to see some of the deals that I find. You can now subscribe to be notified immediately when I find them. Cost you nothing. I did this for those of you that don't like Facebook. If you do follow Facebook, come check me out and follow me there too. If you ever shop on Amazon, simply go in through my links below in the description. Anything and everything you purchase helps support the channel. Going through my links and it costs you nothing. 
you can literally buy toilet paper and this helps support the channel. Check out my company picks, the companies I purchase most often from and find most of my crazy stupid deals on. Using these links supports the channel and keeps the reviews coming. While you're there, check out my highly rated online courses. They come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself what folks are saying about them. Bottom line, check out my webpage. Lots of good stuff there, and doing so helps support the channel. Thanks for your support. I couldn't do this without you. Okay, so I want to go up there at 500 again. I don't think we need to go 100, 200, 300. Um, I think what I'm going to do now is uh, we'll see if we get to it today. Is I want to try a bunch of different ammo, see what I get for groups. Yeah, when it shoots like that, you know, it kind of kind of cuts things short. Either that, or if I can find a longer distance, we'll see if we can stretch this out. Uh, no idea what you think so far. I'm impressed. I'm really liking it. What I want to do now is I'm going to take it off and we are going to test its toughness. Let's be destructive. It's torture time. We're going to drop it in here, 102 degrees. And I'm doing this, guys, because not too many of you are going to want to test this on a $700 optic. Okay, it's been 25 minutes. All right, let's get it dried off and continue. It's not a particularly nice day out, but we torture tested it and I simply mounted it back in the exact spot where I took it off. Uh, we might have to do the windage here. Let's, uh, let's try a couple of 300 real quick. Okay, no problem at three. <laughs> All right, well, the windage worked perfect because I'm just guessing I got about a 10 mile an hour wind here. So I adjusted it to the left. Guys, that's awesome. Passed the torture test, put it right back on, and we're banging steel at 400 yards. There you have it, guys. It is what it is. You decide what you think. Um, I have been really impressed with the optics that I've been testing out from prim Primary Arms. Anyway, I hope you found it helpful. If you did, make sure and hit that sub button, guys. That really does help a lot. If you haven't checked out my webpage, do so. Sign up for the crazy, stupid deals. Until next time, happy shooting. Remember, educate our young people to guns and gun safety. Never forget that you're an ambassador for the Second Amendment. And be a safe and responsible gun owner.